Shalom. My name is Michael Decker and I'm a lawyer within the law offices of Cohen Decker Picks and Broch. Today I wanted to discuss the topic of an Austrian uh, citizenship or passport for descendants of Holocaust survivors who left Austria uh, before the 15th of May 1955 due to Nazi uh, persecution. And specifically, I wanted to focus on a topic that rises quite a bit lately and uh, that we received many uh, queries and questions about, and that is regarding the Austro-Hungarian monarchy, uh, which basically existed until 1918. After 1918, the uh, borders of Austria basically decreased and became smaller. Um, and there, there are many um, uh, citizens uh, of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy that uh, did not hold an Austrian passport, uh, but fled the Austrian territory um, before the 15th of May 1955. And the new uh, regulation basically in Austria also allows these people uh, and the descendants of these people uh, to receive an Austrian uh, passport. Um, so basically we're dealing with an additional um, way for it to be easier for descendants of Holocaust survivors to get citizenship. So until now basically um, a descendant of uh, a Holocaust survivor didn't need to uh, know, uh, doesn't need to know German, he doesn't need to live in Germany, he doesn't need to renounce his other uh, passport, his other citizenship, and today also, um, those that were born in the Austrian, Austro-Hungarian uh, area, even after 1918, after it didn't belong to Austria, but then moved into the borders, the new borders, the borders or the smaller borders of Austria, and did not even hold an Austrian passport, if he left the, the area of the new borders of Austria before the 15th of May 1955, he is also eligible for an Austrian passport or, and citizenship if he is a descendant. It is important to note, because we get many questions about this, that someone that was born in the Austro-Hungarian uh, area of the Austro-Hungarian Empire that is not included in the new Austrian borders of after 1918 and never uh, migrated into the new borders of uh, Austria after 1918, but remained, let's say, in Romania or in Hungary and left Romania or Hungary, for example, in 1940 because of uh, fear of Nazi persecution, they are not entitled to Austrian citizenship because they did not live in the territory of Austria at the time when they fled uh, before uh, the 15th of May 1955. I hope that this is clear, and if you have any questions about this specific topic, you can feel free to write to us and to call us, and we'll be happy to schedule time to meet in our office or even to discuss over the phone if you're not in uh, if you reside outside of Israel thank you very much for your time